Hello everyone, I'm Jasper and this is JJ Vids. Welcome to the channel and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a little garage update because it's been a little while since I've posted a video and I'm gonna reveal you guys the new car that I got. And without further ado, here it is. The new, to me, 2002 Lexus LS430 and we have the sports cross here as well. Like I said, I'm gonna be walking through both of these cars for you today, giving you a nice garage update. Stay tuned. So let's start off here with the Lexus LS430. This is uh, my newest acquisition. I haven't bought in a car in a long time. And uh, this is the first one that I've bought actually since the wagon, which was over almost three years ago now. And uh, this is a 2002 Lexus LS430. It has a naturally aspirated 4.3 liter V8. Um, driving the power to the rear wheels and it's finished in this really nice uh, three-stage metallic white paint job that just glistens in the sun. Underneath the hood, we got the 4.3 liter naturally aspirated V8 producing about 290 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque. And for the most part, this is a really quiet motor. And as you can see, um, we took off most of the engine panels around the motor, because I think it looks good without them. And I think it also helps with the heating. Hopping on to the interior of this car, this is really where the LS shines, because this is the flagship Lexus model. And this has by far the nicest interior that Lexus offered at the time. And everything in here is really high quality. We got leather door panels, leather seats, leather center console, and uh, nice wood trimming throughout. And and we got the uh, the beige on wood brown interior. You know, a couple features that this car has that I really like that I'll point out. These extended door cards. Uh, we have this nice touch screen right here that's pretty intuitive for being a 2002. I've never seen another 2002 with a touch screen, um, let alone working this well. But the coolest feature that this car has, in my opinion, is this. And you basically turn on the climate control, push this button, and then I don't know if you can tell right there, but that's self oscillating climbing control. And that's such a cool feature and it actually works really well, but we'll turn that off. We will turn off the screen because I like to preserve it. Looking at the center console, we can see that we got the power and snow mode button right here. We have the traction control VSC off button here. And then we got the heated seat controls for both of the front seats, which have like 25 different adjustments on them to go all the way from high to low, which is really nice. And then taking a look at the passenger seat, we can see that we got these controls here on the side for either the driver or the rear passenger to move the seat forward to create the optimal luxury experience for the rear passengers. Up here, we have a storage unit for some glasses. We have the sunroof, and then we have both of the lights for the driver and passenger, reading lights, and the sunroof also is a tilting sunroof. We also have the uh, the garage door openers here. On the driver's side door, we have a lot of bells and whistles, like the all auto windows. Uh, you just have to press it once for either the front or the rear windows to go all the way down or all the way back up. We got the memory powered seats right here with three different uh, memory settings. We also have uh, the powered mirrors. Uh, these mirrors adjust uh, in and out. Uh, I, I think you got to take out the key in order to see those adjust just like that. And then taking a look at the gauge cluster right here, it's a pretty sophisticated gauge cluster for the time. It has a lot of electronic stuff at the bottom and there's a display right here that shows you your current gas mileage, tank average, um, miles since refuel, and then a bunch of other stuff as well. Taking a look at the infotainment system, this is a 2002 that has factory navigation. It has a lot of different adjustments for uh, rear and front defrosters. You got the temperature button here for both the driver and passenger side. Then you have a full integrated climbing system in here, as well as uh, the stereo. And then you have different options that you can adjust like the display and the clock. As you can see, it's pretty intuitive to the touch being a 20 year old car. I'm really impressed with how this works. Climbing into the back, this is really where the luxury happens. Got a lot of room back here. Same, same thing throughout the interior. We got the leather door panels. This seat is all the way far back for my seating position and I'm about six feet and we still got a lot of room in here. And the cool part about this car as well is when you put down the center console, 
in the rear seats, we got this really cool heated seat for both of the rear seats. Super nice feature. The whole interior is wrapped with leather. It's really, really clean, really, really nice. Everything feels nice. And we also have rear climate control back here as well. But other than that, that's pretty much a good overview on the LS430. Um, this car is a really smooth driving car as well, which will go for a drive. All right, so driving the LS430 and never driven this car on this YouTube channel for you guys before. First thing I have to say about this thing, it's built like an absolute tank. You can't hear anything on the road. It's almost dangerous how quiet it is in here. And taking any turns in this car, it's super smooth. A lot of body roll going on. But... That's the point of this car. The point of this car is to be a luxury cruiser, not to be pounding on it all the time. Taking this corner here, we'll drive into the gas a little bit. Honestly, this thing moves, dude. Yeah. This thing, this thing moves. Yeah, it's um, the the power on this thing, just stepping on it, going in a straight line super good power to get onto the freeway or anything like that it is a 4.3 liter v8 it's got a little bit under 300 horsepower a lot of torque and it really moves this boat of a car around really well considering that this thing weighs upwards of you know 4500 pounds which is about 15 pounds 1500 pounds heavier than my wagon is but you know overall like i said really smooth driving car really nice daily driver as well and i'm getting about 18 to 26 miles to the gallon on this thing city and highway and that's about it it's a very factory car but then this car which is what a lot of you viewers like the lexus is 300 sport cross this is also a 2002 like the ls they're both 2002s there's been a few things done to this car in the past couple months very minor and minuscule but the first thing is the window tint i should have done that the first day i bought this car we went uh full limo in the back we did ceramic on the front windows and uh, ceramic windshield as well. These, you can't really tell that they're uh, tinted, but these are actually a 70% uh, ceramic window tint. Works really well when you're in the car as well. You don't even have to wear sunglasses when you have, these when you have the tint in here, but just taking a look at the interior, just keeping it nice and clean. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a, a five-speed manual swapped wagon. They didn't make these cars from the factory in a five-speed manual, so you have to swap them in order to get the, uh, the manual in these, which this is. And uh, looking in here, the only other thing that I did was I got this hardwired dash camera right here, which hooks up to my uh, Kenwood head unit, which is nice. And I also got my radar detector hardwired as well. So a little less wires, a little bit more clean. Um, taking a walk in the back, one thing that's getting progressively worse is uh, this rust. We got uh, this growing right here. We got some surface rust on the bottom, uh, getting a little bit worse as well, but I'm gonna be getting this fixed in the next couple weeks. Uh, there'll be a video on that coming to you guys soon. We still have the Gretti exhaust on here. And underneath the hood, it's pretty much the same as it was before. We just have the same AEM cold air intake. We got a new filter on it. We have the Catless headers right there, which makes it sound nice. We have the full aluminum Mishimoto radiator with silicone hoses. We got the manual transmission swap components over there. And other than that, just keeping it pretty clean for the most part. And I guess the last part is uh, the sound system. So same sound system as we had before in this. We got the Focal flax lines in the front door with the, uh, the tweeters. And then if you come on into the back, there's no speakers in the rear doors. The speakers for the back are located in the tailgate. And if you uh, put this thing back right here, we got the uh, the rear focal flax line speakers mounted right here. We got the uh, the tweeters up there, and then we got the big beast. We got the uh, JL W7 12 inch subwoofer in the uh, the JL specific high output pro wedge box, and such a great subwoofer it's such a great system if you guys want to learn more about the system i'll leave a link in the description below for my dedicated sound system video and i'll also leave a link in the description below for my comparison video on the sport cross and the sedan because i did touch on a few points that i touched on today here with you guys in that video and also went deeper but other than that 
that's a good garage update for you guys. We got not one, but two Lexuses now. The 2002 Lexus LS 430 and the 2002 Lexus IS 300 Sport Cross. Thank you to everyone who watches today's video and supports the channel. And be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and you want to see more of it. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.